And this is the thing about humans. We're told to do one thing, but we often do something else. You should exercise every day. A lot of people don't. You should use strong passwords. A lot of people don't. In other words, just because we should do something doesn't mean that's what we actually do. A lot of people commented on my previous video saying, David, I would never use the simple passwords that you're demonstrating. Perhaps you won't, but a lot of people do. And that's often where there are vulnerabilities or issues. The RockU password list exists today because the company, RockU, stored their passwords in clear text. <laughs> you shouldn't be doing that. Their usernames and passwords were stored in clear text and a hacker took all of those usernames and passwords and made them available. Just because people shouldn't do something doesn't mean that's what they're going to do. They often do what they shouldn't do. So in Kelly, I'm gonna open up a terminal. I'm gonna to go to user, share, word lists. LS shows me various files here. Now you could use the GUI to go there if you prefer. So again, under file system, user, share, scroll down, word lists. Notice we have various word lists here such as nmap. Opening that up, you can see various passwords are stored in this file. Now notice a lot of those passwords are very simple. These are not complicated passwords. So again, very simple passwords in that dictionary or password list. Here's fast track. Notice simple passwords, passwords like these, passwords that you shouldn't be using, but people often use those passwords. Now under phone Wi-Fi, we also have common passwords. So there are a list of common passwords as well. So as you can see, Kali comes with a whole range of password files under Metasploit, there are a whole list of password files, but let's have a look at RockU. So RockU comes as a zip file. So I'm gonna use sudo gzip d RockU to unzip the file. So Alice shows me that that text file now exists. So just to give you a context of how big this file is, wc-l nmap. That file has 5,000 entries in it, but the RockU file has 14 million entries in it. So there are 14 million passwords in that file. And again, if I open up that file, I'll just use less for that. There are a long list of passwords in that file. Now you could use grep to see if a password that you're using is found in that file. So grep. Cisco, RockU as an example, shows me all entries with Cisco in that password. So there are a long list of possible passwords containing the word Cisco. Let's try David. So grep David RockU text. All of those examples include the word David. I'll open that file again using less and I'll go to the end of the file and then scroll up. Notice here are more complex password examples. So passwords such as these. In a previous video, which I've linked here and below, I showed you an example of using a more complex password such as this. And I had some people tell me that I had added that password to the Rocky file but that password actually exists in the RockU file. So I'm gonna use grep-f and I'm gonna search for that pattern in the RockU file and notice it found it. I had someone very angrily tell me that that password didn't exist in the RockU file that I had added it, but notice it's there by default. I think they just forgot to use the dash F option. But as an example, a password like this looks complicated. That is a password in the RockU file. So that's been found. So I would suggest that you use grep. And if you're using special characters, use dash F to look for the special characters. And then just look for examples 
of the password that you're using in the ROCU file. And notice three stars appears in many, many examples in this file. So again, WC-L tells me how many entries are in that password file. Now, if you're trying to test against WPA, password lengths on WPA are from eight to 63 characters in length. Now, some of the passwords in that file are longer and some of them are shorter than eight to 63 characters. The passwords, once again, in that ROCU file may be shorter or maybe longer than that password length. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go to my home directory and then I'm gonna copy user share word lists rock you to my local directory. So this is my home directory. And we can see we've got the file here. What I'm gonna do now is use grep to look for passwords that are from eight to 63 characters in length in the ROCU file and save those passwords in the WPA ROCU file. So basically, I've created this file that contains a subset of this file where the password's on the length eight to 63 characters. So WC-L ROCU shows me that there are 14 million entries in that password list. And let me just do that again so that it's at the top of the screen. But WC-L WPA ROCU contains 9.6 million entries. I've reduced the number of passwords in that file so that it takes less time for me to go through all the passwords when I'm trying to break into a WPA network as an example or test a WPA network. Okay, so again, under user, share word lists, there are a whole bunch of word lists. You can find the ROCU file online by simply searching for ROCU. So on GitHub, Hashcat releases download data. Click on this link and you'll be able to download the ROCU file. Okay, so word lists are really useful for penetration testing. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal, wanna wish you all the very best. Okay.